Okay, we've got Lee Coots here, um, who's the owner. How old's the boom, Lee? It's six years old now, done a bit over 27,000 hectares. And why did you buy the Amazon? What, what, what features did you like? Uh, it's versatility, very narrow wheelbase. Um, we didn't want a, a um, self-propelled, we wanted a tractor-drawn one. Um, a quality machine, uh, good local service is also a, um, something important. Had a very bad connection between the seat and the steering wheel on occasion and hence the boom tips. But that's after six years work, a lot of fences and a lot of trees. Uh, it's fully adjustable all over, the, even the valves, you can pull them apart and adjust up the um, seals in them the uh, main control valves, big taps. It runs two pumps, doesn't it? One for agitation, one for spray? One main pump uh, for the spraying, yes, and then the other pump is agitation and filling. It's got a three-inch suction pipe uh, filler, which is, fills fairly effectively. Uh, most of the other things that most of the booms have these days. Uh, the triplets uh, I find very good. They're always free and easy to turn and depending on the water rate you're aiming at uh, to get the right pressure I can swap between well, two main ones, the, the red ones and the purple ones. But I usually run but two to three bar depending on the size droplets you're looking at also. The question was has the, has the uh, boom got the recirculation? Yes, it has. Um, the instant you turn the nozzles on, you've got um, spray at every nozzle. Um, and it's good for flushing out too. You can flush the boom easily at the end. And there's purely one quick squirt from each nozzle, uh, from the nozzles and it's completely clean. Really quick way for checking a section control. Um, when you are checking and setting up your section control, depending on the system, you, you really want to have it set up at the speed you're going to drive on average. I mean, a lot of people go and set them up slow, looking at drums and trying to get it to match. And you go and get it out in the paddock, put some gramoxone in, and it's not quite tidy when you go to use it. So if we use the vinyl here, it'll the water as the droplets land on it will bead. So we'll park the sprayer, we'll lay it in and out of the sprayed zone, and we should have an idea. If you're never getting a miss with your section control, you're possibly getting some damage with your um, clethodum in your canola, so you might be overstepping the line too far. And that can simply happen when you go with the one nozzle type and you go from, say, 60 litres to 100 litres by just slowing down. So all of a sudden that, that timing to the line can change for some of the systems and it just might need a little bit of a trim when you do that.